Have you been thinking about moving to Cumming, Georgia, or you're just curious about the expenses of living in Cumming, Georgia? Well, you're actually in for a treat. In this video, we're gonna break it down on all the expenses that it costs to live in this great, charming town. So let's get started. My name is Rachel Mooney with The Mooney Group. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel for all things about living in Cumming, Georgia. So let's just start off with our housing market. What does it cost to live here? Well, about three or four years ago, if you were looking for a four bedroom, two and a half bath, traditional two-story home, that was going to charge you around $450,000. You might could find it for a little bit less, maybe three seventy-five dollars to four fifty. dollars In today's market in 2024, that same exact home is gonna cost you around $680,000 to $750,000, depending on where it's located. Of course, we have got phenomenal school system here, and so that makes it one reason why people love to live in coming, as well as all of the job opportunities that are here and available. So mixing the school system with the job opportunities that are available has really made it a great place for people to come and want to live, but our housing market just cannot keep up with that. We're actually very low in supply. We only have about two to two and a half months supply of inventory. We do have a lot of new construction coming on, but those homes tend to go under contract very, very quickly, if not at the construction phase, before that actually in the lot reservation phase. So let's talk about rent. If you want to rent a home or an apartment here in Cumming, Georgia, because a lot of buyers actually tend to think that that is the better way to go, especially in today's interest rates. If you are looking for an apartment, an apartment is going to cost you roughly about $1,500 for a one bedroom apartment, and they go up from there. If you're wanting to rent a single single family home, you're going to look at an average of about 2,500 to 3,000 a month for a single family residence. All right, so let's talk about some of the expenses that come along with home ownership. Here in Cumming, Georgia, many of our properties are in what's known as an HOA, which is also known as a homeowners association. Whether that be a condo, a townhome, or a single family, most communities will have an HOA. Now, depending on the level that the HOA is involved, it could be a swim tennis community, it could be a golf course community, or it may be a community that has zero amenities, but the HOA maintains the grounds, the common grounds of the community, that HOA can cost you anywhere from $100 a month to three or $400 a month. It really just depends. And then of course that price continues to raise, especially if you were in a golf course community, because those communities are very expensive. If you have a golf course membership, that is another fee that's on top of that. Now there's some advantages as well, some tax advantages. As a homeowner here in Cumming, Georgia, you can file for what is called a homestead exemption, and that is a tax break. It's a one-time filing, but it reoccurs year after year for the length that you own the property. And it is a tax savings, as well as many senior citizens love our county because there's an additional tax break for our senior citizens as well. Now, the cost of living here, our transportation, we do not have a local transportation here in Cumming, Georgia. If you recall on a pre previous video, the MARTA does not come all the way up north here, and our community is quite spread out. So if you are going to live in our community, you need a car. Driving, is going to be your primary source for getting place to place. That is going to cost you, obviously, with the price of gas. We know that pricing of gas over the last few years has also escalated, and we run about $3.38 for regular gas here around our coming area, and that is as, as of 2024. So that goes up and down. We don't see too many residents walking, although some of our communities are walking communities, but if you're going to be driving to the place place of business or your local doctor's office, our hospital, you're going to need a car with wheels. The latest stats for our household income. As of 2024, our household income here in our area of Cumming, Georgia runs us about $147,000 compared to our neighboring counties. Cherokee County's average is about $93,000. And then the rest of our county in Forsyth County, it runs about $158,000. 
$1,000. So when I'm looking at Cumming, Georgia being 30040 zip code, that average is $147,000 for the year for our average um, income household. So let's talk about education and health here for our county. So although our school system is some of the best school systems here in Georgia, actually some of the very well known, we've got top rated schools. Some of our families would like to send their kids to private school education. Private school education is going to cost you about anywhere from $900 to $1,200 a month per student. Now that cost actually does go up. That is going to be for an elementary school child and that price tends to increase as the child increases in age. Many of our families choose to do so, and we actually have some great private schools around our area if the families choose not to go the public school route. Of course, public school here in Forsyth County, again, is great. We have some of the best top-rated schools in our area. Our healthcare system as well is great. We have the Northside Hospital Healthcare System here in Cumming. It is one of the state-of-the-art facilities that has been recently upgraded and updated over the last several years. We've got a phenomenal area for women. So we have a phenomenal women's center. All right, let's talk about after school sports and recreations for your kids because that can get really pricey around our area. Whether your child is in volleyball, basketball, football, competitive cheer, karate, the list goes on. That can get really, really pricey, especially if your child is playing after school sports for the school system. That can cost you anywhere from $500 a month to $1,200 a month, depending on what it is. Especially for those girls, if you wanna get them into competitive cheer or competitive dance, you're probably looking about $1,200 a month for an expense on that. So you've got to put that into your monthly expenses for living here and coming. If you enjoy this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I get calls all the time for people who are thinking about moving to our area. They want to know the expenses. They want to know exactly what it's like. So if it's something that you're thinking of, I encourage you pick up the phone, call me, shoot me a DM, and I'll be more than happy to break it down for you.